What's up guys? Today we're back at the property. I start off my Saturday morning by taking the Ford GT to local cars and coffee. It's, it gets quite a lot of attention. It's a pretty rare car and it's so cool that Ford does make such a neat car. But we have a lot to get going here so let's grab a quick snack and get to work. We're currently here in the detached three car garage and over the next several weeks guys we'll be building this out and today here in a bit we'll be going by Home Depot to pick up a few things here but we do need to put a sheetrock, we need to get paint and there's a lot of work to get done here. Now if we do have time at the end of today I definitely want to take out the GT3 RS. It's nice to enjoy the warm weather before the cold weather comes and the snow begins here. Now the wife did say she was going to local supplier to pick up some uh, materials because today Today, guys we are going to be building a vegetable garden tomatoes lettuce uh, cucumbers things like that homegrown food is amazing looks like what is this here wow look at that guys a lot of manure definitely smells quite a bit as well but let's head inside I definitely want to check up on the computer here maybe play a few minutes of farm some and then we'll get going here on uh, the few projects that we have planned just ate a few granola bars here and I'm going to bring a bottle of water along with us here. It's pretty warm out, just over 82 degrees, which is pretty awesome. But the very first thing, guys, the wife bought a basketball hoop here for the kids. So what I'm thinking is, let's kind of see where should we put it. I really don't want to put it over here. That That's going to be in our way here. We're moving the trailers. Let's see. Definitely don't want to put it in the front of the house. And let's see. Let's see. Any other areas we can do? Oh, yeah. This seems to be a pretty good area. That way, if you uh, miss the hoop it kind of goes there not uh, towards any of the houses so let's get that place and then it, we'll, we'll shoot a few hoops here and then we'll get going on the next one after a little bit of assembly, a little bit of setup, here we have it guys. Pretty sweet hoop here. Now this is as good as we can here. We do have quite a lot of basketballs here. Uh, that way the kids can have a few friends over. This is going to be pretty sweet here. Now I'm not sure if it does work here in multiplayer. Let's see really quickly. Oh yeah, it does. Let's see. Can we shoot a hoop or two? And up and over. At least we didn't hit the building there. But there is a full mod. It's up on my website. If you guys would like to go check it on out. Every single mod that we are using here today is list over there now we are using the official NBA ball which is pretty sweet almost got that one in but I think we'll get on to the next thing there so let's bring the trail boss around back uh, that way we don't have to kind of unload all of these and uh, that's gonna be a lot easier than uh, getting the trailer the 1025 hours so let's hop on in and uh, we'll drive on the grass here now the sod's been coming in pretty good I do want to wait another week week and a half before we do end up mowing it here for the first time that way it's all ready to go and we could kind of do the first mow and that is going to be pretty exciting. Maybe we might use a 1025R or just maybe we might buy something else. Maybe you guys let me know down below here. But hope everyone's been having a fantastic weekend. Mine's been pretty good. And I'm just excited to be uh, making these homeowner series videos. But let's get going here with that uh, awesome garden here. We'll put a small fence around it and I'll do a quick walkthrough of the build. After some work here, here it is guys. It is a pretty neat garden so let's kind of go over every single aspect aspect of it. We have a nice fence all the way around. This will help out with all the rabbits, all those little kind of animals that definitely want to eat some of the food here. Now we do have a fence around the entire property but that's for the deers, the coyotes and all those different uh, kind of bigger animals that do run wild here in the area. You guys can see we have sunflowers. I will have to say it is such a neat mod here. Really do like it and this is pretty sweet here. Look at that guys. So we can actually put the manure in. I'm going to probably put a lot of that in. Now I did pick up this small water trailer from the local farmer he was selling this for only a few hundred dollars here looks like he um, uh, welded some metal together here and uh, kind of turned a pallet into a small water trailer works for us and this was a pretty cheap solution here so let's first get all those uh, manure unloaded here that's going to be quite a lot but I, I can't wait to eat fresh uh, tomatoes and food here in a few months
We're making pretty good progress here. Now this garden does uh, require manure and water, which we do have the water trailer here. Now this is a pretty neat mod, really do like it, and I can't wait like it did touch upon. Now I actually have a garden at my house that I uh, kind of uh, do a few hours every week here. It's a lot of fun, and I definitely can't wait to kind of eat all the food here. Now I hope everyone has been enjoying all the videos, lots of stuff to come, and we actually do have quite a few Xbox videos planned for the next week, which I am pretty excited for here there's just not enough days in the week for the videos and definitely want to record more and more here for you guys but there we have it the manure is all done there all good to go let's really quickly put the uh, tailgate up there this is a really neat truck here one of my favorites in the Silverado other than probably we probably should be getting uh, better off-road tires for but it is a really nice one here but let's get the 1025 R we have the flowers actually I think the wife and the kids every single morning come out and kind of water that so that's pretty neat uh, and I think the kids really do like that as well it's back to 1025 hour out here little tiny uh, shed here but it does a trick you let's see let's see oh we have to watch out for those flower pots there probably should move that one over just a little bit but let's see let's see we should be able no problem back out perfect let's get attached to this trailer here now I believe he said this holds like 50 60 gallons here which is quite a lot and that's gonna come in pretty handy a little bit further a little bit further I think right there should be good all right this seems to be a pretty good spot here let's get hopped on off here let's get the hoses attached there we have it it's unloading and look at that guys looks like we do have quite a few plants already this is pretty exciting wow that looks awesome here so we do have some tomatoes here looks like some tomatoes already on uh, the uh, plants there we do have lettuce and a few other things over here as well which is neat and I can't wait for this here but let's get the gate closed here let's kind of ch uh, check out this garage let's give a few updates and then we'll head to the store Let's bring the truck around here, but guys, we built this last week here, this three-car garage, and I plan to do a full build here. Now, a few things I am planning here with the garage, I think we should do everything and then do the drywall, the paint at the final step here. So I want cabinets, I want lighting, I want car lifts, I want flooring, so many different things. And today, guys, we are going to be buying some uh, lumber here to build not only a trailer port on the side, but the two lifts that I ordered for the garage have arrived here. We are going to put a two post over here four post here uh, both uh, the 4 GT and the uh, the Porsche will be on uh, one on top of the other there with that car lift that way we have the full area to work and service on everything else here so let's get the trail boss let's get the trailer and let's head to Home Depot here now really quickly I do just want to make sure the trailer is good to go here looks like everything seems to be good to go last time I used it wasn't really tone right oh wow look at that guys looks like we have a flat tire so we can't really be using this here and I definitely want to go pick it up there so let's hop in the trail boss maybe they'll deliver it we'll just have to see now a trip to Home Depot is a kind of a usual thing here for us we own a house we do kind of the do-it-yourself uh, projects around the house and I will have to say I, I like going to Home Depot just kind of walking through uh, checking everything out there and they're only a few miles up the road so if they don't deliver maybe we could see if they could rent something I do uh, remember the last time I was at Home Depot they do offer rental I think that'll be pretty sweet, but we'll just have to wait and see here. And if you guys haven't already, go check me out on Instagram. I am posting every single day over there some pretty cool sneak peeks and exclusive content as well, which is fun here. But we're coming up here on Home Depot. Uh, they're just kind of only a few minutes down the road here, but let's kind of drive around here. Now, our lift should be somewhere, but we do need lumber for that trailer port to keep those trailers out of the uh, sun and weather looks like they don't have any lumber here maybe the lumber is kept inside really depends on the Home Depot usually yeah so we'll get turned around here really oh yeah I see some extra storage there so it's probably inside where the lumber is here but we really have to see if they'll deliver and we'll have to go from there but let's find a parking spot uh, and let's see really quickly oh yeah we'll just kind of park along here looks like it's pretty quiet early morning hours here all right, guys, let's go on the inside. But wow, look at that, guys. These are actually our lift boxes. They say our name on it there. So that is pretty sweet here. Let's see. Do they have any lumber here? Looks like this door is closed. I really don't see anything there. Oh, this is lumber here. Actually, uh, those are the 4x4 four four posts. Those are the 2x4s, I think. Uh, we could probably just buy this entire pallet here. This will be pretty sweet. But I'm going to go inside. I'm going to go see if we can uh, get those delivered here. Looks like they have wheelbarrows here. Looks like 
Those look to be uh, pallets of sand. What else do they have here? Whoa, we definitely need a grill. Those are really nice looking grills. They have flowers, lots of things here. But let's go inside and I'll give you guys an update. Well guys, we're here at the loading dock, so a quick summary guys, they couldn't get these delivered until next week, so I decided just to rent this truck here, it's $20 an hour, a few different fees, and all of the paperwork is done here, they did give us the key here too, which is pretty neat, uh, this looks to be a Ram 3500, let's hop on the inside, this looks to be just the Hemi, that 6.4 uh, V8 here, wow, this thing looks pretty sweet here, so it's a rental, uh, first time renting from Home Depot here, the uh, guy said they have a lot of different equipment rentals from mini skid steers to mini excavators and everything in between here. So let's get this pulled around here. And I believe that they said someone was going to come outside here to get these loaded up. We have both these pallets here and this pallet. And each lift was two or three thousand dollars. So we got to be pretty careful. We don't want these damaged. And hopefully we could get home no problem. All right, I'm putting the last of the straps down here. That forklift driver made quick work here. Now, we are a bit uh, kind of uh, loaded to one side here, so we'll take it slow. We only have a few miles to go here, but I don't know if the trailer would have handled this here, guys. They said each lift was around 3,000 pounds, and that lumber there was probably another 1,000 pounds here. But this rental is working out so far pretty good here, and maybe we could just keep renting this here. might be even easier as well, but not sure how we're going to get this unloaded. We might have to kind of unbox the lift here, but I can't wait to have a four post, two post lift here. We'll be able to do all the maintenance and uh, for storage, uh, having that four post lift for both the sport cars will be the way to go. And I think guys will be able to drop off the rental, get back home, and take that GT3 out before the sun sets here. Now with the homeowner series, we are always really busy, and that is a lot of fun to have so many projects around the house here. And sometimes we just uh, need to kind of rent equipment and. Uh, a flatbed like this is pretty sweet here but the goal down the road is to buy some sort of project truck and to do a full build but also to use it as well and help us out here but I think this is where we'll call it a day here it's been a pretty fun one here for us I'll get these unloaded I'll get them set up so stay tuned for next week to see both the car lifts in action I'm probably gonna have to hire an electrician as well but hope you guys enjoyed today's video thanks for watching stay tuned for next one and subscribe for more